Hey y'all, today we're gonna talk about how to get started with digital planning and then setting up your first weekly spread. If you're new here, my name is Terry, and I do videos about digital planning, cleaning, and then all of the little things that are just life I throw in there as well. So let's jump in. So the first thing that you're gonna need is just an iPad. I have the iPad Pro 11 inch second generation iPad with the Apple II Pencil. And what that does is it lets you be able to write and, and use it like a style which is going to be super helpful when you're talking about a digital planner. Also, what we're going to be using is an app called GoodNotes. So this is my GoodNotes app. I've got several things already saved in my GoodNotes app that I have downloaded. So 99% of the planning things are good notes based planning things you do have to pay um, a small fee to download it but it's a lifetime download I think when I got it it was like five or six dollars so once you get the good notes you're not gonna have anything it's just gonna be a new um, thing and so you've got to figure out what planner you're gonna use and so you'll go either to Etsy or you're gonna go into a specific website so so if I'd go to Etsy and I just search digital planners, there's 348,000 digital planners to choose from. And every one of them is a little bit different. And so there's a little bit of trial and error. Most people don't fall in love with their very first one, but they know that they want it because they get hooked. And then they end up buying something after they've researched a little bit more that fits their lifestyle a little bit. And so what you'll do is you'll just pick one and go ahead and download it and you're probably not going to want to pay a lot of money and that's fine because your first one you may not love it but once you get it downloaded you'll get a receipt emailed to you and so this is the receipt that I got for my 2022 farmhouse planner and you can see that on the receipt there's a little download button so you would just hit download and then here it's gonna say download and it's the name of whatever you bought. If you were buying your planner, it would say the name of the planner and it's a zip file. So you're gonna hit download. And then right up here, you can see the progress bar. And so that is all you have to do from the receipt. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna get out of my email and my receipt and close out everything. And now I'm gonna go into Good notes. I've bought three or four planners now, and this is the planner that I like the best. So I'm gonna make sure and link her name down below so that if you would like to check her out, go ahead and make sure you tell her that Terry sent you. Um, I would love for her to kind of work with me because I am such a big fan. I would like to be like an official affiliate or something there. So we're in our good notes. We're gonna hit new folder. We're gonna import. And the most recent was from today. That is this one. So I'm just gonna click it and it's gonna import that zip file and open it up for us. So you don't have to do anything else. Now it's your planner is here. So the file that you just uploaded is going to show up in one of these spots and it's whatever you named it so uh, i let it name itself 2022 life planner and you open it up you get this really nice cover and then a little welcome and then we start off with january so let's talk about how we're going to go into things so i'm going to come over here into like September where it's pretty much a plain page. This is what a monthly spread would look like. And you've got a lot of hyperlinks that are built into this thing, which is amazing. But let's just pick a day and get, I'm gonna go through a lot of different things. So this is just a random day I pick, September the 1st. In order to plan, you're gonna to need to know where your tools are. There's a lot of hidden things here. So let's talk about the top of the toolbar. Along the top, you have this little arrow back that's going to take you back to good notes just click on your folder and it opens right back where we were so that's how you you can go back in and i can select multiple folders to be open at the same time so now that we've got our planner open the second one this little thing here shows us all the pages of the planner that she's got laid out and there's a ton of pages now, some very advanced people will go in and delete pages off that they are not going to use and add pages in that they want that maybe aren't included. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole with you because this is very complicated. When you delete it, it's gone forever. You cannot reclaim it. So let's just close that. Let's not mess with the four boxes. Um, if you go into the little search, you can type in what you're looking for. If you named your files appropriately, it'll pop up. You can bookmark this as a favorite if you want to come right back to this 
page. Again, I don't do that. And you can export this if you wanted to share it with someone. Over here, the plus inside the paper, if I wanted to add another page, I could add another page that looks exactly the same. I could add a blank page that's black, and I could add um, a picture page. That's what that was. So I could add all of those things. Again, very advanced setting here. So I'm not gonna show you how to add pages. And then this little circle with the pencil, this is what we are gonna use. So circle in the pencil. This has got all of the tools that we're gonna need to plan. So let's go through these tools. This little square with the A. So when I do that, that is a zoom bar. So anywhere that I put this little bar, it zooms down here at the bottom. So if there was some really small print and I couldn't read it, I could zoom in and read it like that. Um, I could also, if there's a small box that I need to type in, I could zoom it like that and I could write in it. So I could go, hi y'all. And what that did is that completely and then X out, that typed it right in that small section that I was showing you. It's there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that to go away, so I'm just gonna erase it. The zoom you can do perfectly if that's your preference. I prefer to just with two fingers, swish it out, and that zooms your page in, and then I could go over here, grab my pen, and do the same thing, and I could make it much bigger or smaller. So that's what this is. This is your little pen. It is Bluetooth to your pencil so that you can write. So when you have your pen, if you tap it, it's gonna give you different types of pens. And then I could do a brush pen on the upswing. It gets fatter, and so you can do that. And you can double tap to undo your last things. So I can tap, 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 and clear it all off if I want. Over here, you can pick colors. So there's preset colors, and you can add your own favorite colors in. So if I wanted it to be red, I could click on red and then I can write it and it's red. I can do, you know, a gray to go on top of that. I can go back to blue and go on top of that. I can also make my pen stroke fatter and thinner. So here's a thinner blue. Here's a fatter blue. And we can adjust these pen strokes. So if I want that middle pen stroke to be somewhere about there, it's somewhere a little bit less fat, but not quite as skinny. So we can adjust and customize each of them. You can go over here to the grid and pick a color off the grid, or you can pick the color wheel and you can customize what shade of blue you want. You can maybe say, oh, I wanted it to be more pink. Um, if you have a hex code, so you're trying to match an exact color, you could type the hex code in there and that would give you the exact color. So I'm just going to use the next tool. This is my eraser. It's the same way. You, ha you have some options if you tap it. I usually don't mess with that. I just select, do I want it to be a small eraser, medium, or a big? So if I do a big eraser, it erases a whole lot at once. If I do the small eraser, I have to like color it to get it all to color off. Um, the next one is a highlighter tool. It works just like the pen and the eraser. You've got different colors that you can do over here by tapping. You've got presets, you've got custom with a graph, and then you have the color wheel that you can pick an exact precise color. Once you do that, you can pick it small, you can pick medium, and you can pick large. Did you notice how those popped straight? So I have that set that it will automatically draw in a straight line. If you don't like that, you can undo it. My lines are usually, like if I was wanting to highlight this, you can see I cannot do it, but when I just hold it, it just automatically makes it straight and pretty. So that I love. I can just make it automatically a straight line. This is a shape tool. And so with the shape tool, you've got some other things. Hold to snap is something that I love. The reason why I love it is this. If I want to draw a box, it's not the straightest, but it does snap. Now watch, if I hold and I touch the edge and hold it, it will not only finish it sharply, but it'll color it in. Now mine was way off, so it didn't make it a box, but if it's kind of close, you see what I mean? It'll kind of make it a better box and it will make it a circle. That was an oval. There's my circle. Um, 
I can do all kinds of shapes and it'll automatically snap. All right, this is the single most important tool that we have and that is the lasso tool. So the lasso tool lets me pick up and move things around and edit things. So I've got all of these shapes already on my, my board here. I'm gonna circle that one. I can move it. So I can move it. Not only can I move it, let's put it here. Not only can I move it, I can tap inside of it while it's circled. I can change the color of it. So maybe I wanted it to be green. Maybe I wanted to resize it. There we go. I can now make it a box. I can resize it. I can flip it. I can make it a diagonal. I can do all kinds of things by just doing that and I can still move it. Once I lay it down, it's there. I can do it again. I can just grab it, move it again. Now, if you do put it on top of something and you lasso and you include both, then both of them are gonna move. So you have to be careful where you lasso. So if I wanted to get that and it's on top of all those, I'm gonna lasso down here so I didn't grab the other things. You see what I mean? That lasso is gonna come in so helpful as we do stickers and widgets and all the other things because you can move anything on the page and make it smaller or bigger because when you're planning you maybe don't know exactly what size you need things and you might need to edit. This is um, like a little shortcut to some like post-its so if you want to you can grab a yellow post-it note you can put it on the page I can cover up something I can make it smaller I can make it bigger I can write on it just like you would a regular post-it note. So let me pick up black so it'll show up really good. Right? So now that I've got it on there, I can lasso the whole thing, move the whole thing. I can just continue to just customize and customize. So let's clear off some space. I've got a lot of things going on here. Let me grab my big eraser so that we have a little bit more room all right so the next one is this little landscape picture so when you click that and then you tap the page it links to your iCloud photos and so these are just a ton of photos that I have in my um, iCloud so the other day we had this little baby horse born on the farm so I have this picture and so I can put that, I can shrink it and make it really small and put it in a corner. I can make it bigger. I can turn it, twist it, do whatever I want. So when I have the picture, maybe I want it to be there, but it's, over, it's overlapping the corner. I can tap inside and hit crop. And I can bring this little picture over a little bit and hit done. And now it's not flopping off the side of my page. You see what I mean? So you can customize how big the picture is. If you need to crop out something, you can crop it out. Um, you just select it by tapping and then tap again to hit crop, or you can share it to someone after you've done the adjustments if you want to. Um, again, you can stretch it out. That kind of makes the picture not quite right. So I could do a lot of things there, but I like to just leave them like that. Then you have a text box. So over here you have all kinds of fonts that you can pick from for your text box. So let's just pick one up. We can make the text to be big so that you guys can see it. I'm gonna make it to be, let's make it whatever color that is. So we're gonna just tap. Now I can write anywhere on the page and it's gonna put there. Now did you see what it just did? I wrote my name and it clearly did not print my name. That's because I have terrible handwriting and it doesn't recognize it. So what I have found is for me, it's better for me to use this um, keyboard. So I'm gonna just drag and highlight across it and then I'm gonna replace that by using my keyboard. There we go. So I use my keyboard and then once I get that typed out, I can drag it and put it anywhere I want if it, if, um, if I wanted to resize it, I can use my lasso tool and resize it and make it great big, make it small, move it wherever I want it to be. I could also use my lasso tool and change the color. So I don't like that. Maybe I wanted it to be 
yellow. But I love the text because I do a lot of journaling and a lot of list making and my handwriting is terrible so I use a lot of text boxes and that is really cool. The last thing on our tool is this little pointer and it's like a laser pointer. If you were showing something on a screen, you can also change it so it's a line. So look here and then it goes away. The last thing is this little arrow backwards, which is your undo, which you can use at any time. So we like the undo that took it back to red, it took it back to small, redo, put it back to red and big. The X is in the same place that the tools was. So when you've got the tools open, you hit X to make it go away. To put the tools back, you hit the circle to make it come back. So you're gonna do that back and forth. And then this little guy here, it is where you can move pages. Again, this plus and this little three dots, I don't use this a lot because that's when you can really mess up your planner, especially as a newbie. So don't go too crazy with those things. That is the basics. Now, no matter what planner you buy, you can do all of those things because the tools are gonna be exactly the same. Up until now, I've shown you nothing really that is specific to this planner. Now I'm gonna go into the planner that I have, how she has it customized, okay? Is a home button right there. So if you tap the home button and you don't have your tools open, if I tap it, it brings you to the cover. So I can pick whatever month I wanna to go to, into. To the home, you have a vision board. It's just a blank page that you can put whatever your intentions for the year is. So if you like to do a vision board, here it is. This is your yearly vision board. Right next to that, we have your goals. You can set up goals and then you can track them. Over here on the other bottom side is a typewriter and it goes to a notes page. Beside of the typewriter, we have this little flower that goes to a free set of stickers that she's included with this planner. So you have everything inside this planner to do a full spread for the full year if you wanted to keep using these in different ways throughout the year. You wouldn't have to invest in anything else. And then the last thing is the little scissors. And these are what we call widgets. And widgets are just, they're like a sticker, but they're made specifically for writing on. So they're usually a clear background when you put them on the page. And then she's got a couple of little widgets that are quotes that you can put on the page. Let's tap February. Each month has got a lot of hyperlinks. So if I am in the monthly view, and I want to look at my first week, the darker dots are the weekly views. The lighter dots are the daily views. This was my weekly view for the week, the second week of February. And so I've decorated it out. I've included the widgets, which were those write on things. The lighter gray from any place is gonna give you the daily. So here's my daily spread for that Sunday. I, but as you use it, you're gonna fall in love with it. You're gonna use it, I promise. Let's start planning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna use what came free with this planner. Because if you are starting, you may not have all of that yet. Get my tools so I'm gonna hit this little button here so that my toolbar comes up and now I can hit that little circle so that all of my actual tools come up I need to go into the stickers and the widgets so let's start with the widgets so I go to this I'm gonna grab my lasso tool and now let's do a daily to-do list so I'm gonna just lasso that copy and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to get out of my tools because every time I hit a tab I have to be off my tools I'm gonna go back to March I'm gonna go back to that last week and now I can just put it wherever I want it so let's go ahead and stick it on there now what I see is this widget does not fit within this box you can do two things you can make it any size you want or you cannot use the boxes the way she's got them set out she's got four little gray boxes here that are just suggestions you don't have to do four things. Sometimes I don't want four things, so I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So let's put this and let's shrink it down so it'll fit inside that box. And don't worry about being perfect because it's a clear sticker. So that gray is gonna show no matter what we do, but I just try to get it kind of close so my letters don't roll off and my lines don't roll off. And we'll just leave that there. Let's go back to that same little place. So I'm gonna get out of my tools. I'm gonna hit the scissors. I'm gonna get into my tools, make sure my lasso is selected. All right, let's go ahead and do a shopping list or a checklist. Let's do a shopping list because we always need to start the shopping list as we start the week. So I've copied it. Now I'm gonna get out of my tools. I'm gonna touch March. I'm going to touch the week we're working on, which is that last week. Hold it down and hit paste. And again, it's a little bit big. I'm just going to resize it 
so that it fits where I want it to be. I can move it around to get it just perfect. So we've got two widgets that are down. Now let's make things pretty cute. I'm gonna give you a tip that is a little bit more advanced level. Let's get out of our tool. Let's go over here to the widgets again. Let's copy this pink color because let's let's use this pink color, but I don't want it to say Happy New Year. It's March, New Year's over. So if I want to steal this color and make a color box, I'm going to get my tools back open. And now I'm going to just zoom where you can see. Let's make it a square. I just like squares, a bad square. And then I'm going to tap inside of it. I'm going to take a screenshot of it. When I get to this, I'm going to hit export and I'm going to save it as image. Now we're going to get out of our tools. We're going to go back to the page we're working on. Third week, we're back where we were. Here's how you can cheat the system and not spend extra money and still get colors. This time I'm going to hit picture. That pink is the pink I just copied. Now you can see I have done this a ton of times. I've got all kinds of little colors up there. I did it the same way. So we're just going to tap that. That is the pink that we copied and put it over here and I can stretch it. I told you, you don't have to use those gray boxes. They're suggestions. I don't want that many boxes. I want something pretty over here. I can also do that same tip. I can make a white box. I can tap inside the square, take a screenshot, export it, save it as an image. Now I can tap the picture. There's my white box. If I don't like, that gray, I cover it up. Maybe I do like that gray, but I want it to be a picture frame. Maybe I want it over here. I wanted just a border of that pink. I didn't want the whole thing pink. Okay, we'll just stretch this. You can play with it and get it just right. That's all it is, guys. You can use these colors, stretch them. I can use this pink and make it super skinny, like it's a little piece of washi, and we can put it anywhere we want. And now let's hit the flower. The flower takes us to those stickers that she gave us for free. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and lay out a few things. I think let's talk about weekend plans. Everybody likes weekends, so let's just lasso. Whoop. You see it didn't do anything because I don't have my lasso tool. So I gotta go collect the lasso. So now I'm on the lasso. I can circle, just a little circle, tap, copy, get out of the tool. Go back up to our place. Remember, we gotta go back to that same one every time. Now I'm gonna hit paste. I can put weekend plans right here. Pencil tool. I'm gonna just make it, let's go to my presets. Let's just make it some, I'm gonna do the lightest gray line because I can't write straight for anything in this world. So what I did is I got a light colored gray. So we're just gonna drag and hold and it snaps it straight. So I'm just putting some lines down so that I can journal and keep it straight. You definitely don't have to do this, but if you like the handwriting, but you don't like it to get all messy, you can put just some little pencil lines and see how crazy wild I'm getting. I don't have to be perfect, but when I hold it at the end, it pops it straight. I make it a little bit thicker and I can say, If I wanted to get really creative, I could get a picture. So just hit the picture icon and then just tap. Let's find one that's super cute and put him on YouTube. This is just one of my favorite pictures. Look how cute that little boy is. I could put him over here. Look how cute that is. You know, we could just do something like that and he is there. So let's just erase that text. Go see Ollie and Megan. If we just wanted to do that, and we'll just put him right there. Let's just grab a few things and finish it up. So let me see. We're gonna have, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab several things so that we don't have to flip back and forth. So copy it off. March, I got a ton of stuff in that lasso. And if I don't want it, I can delete it. But we're gonna hit paste. So you see, I got a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm just gonna shrink it so it doesn't get on top of what I already laid down. All right, now I can separate things out and do what I want. First of all, let's, uh, we're gonna go work out and we can kind of make it fun there. See, work because we have to. We can just put that right in there. Vacation, I didn't even know that I grabbed that, but you know, maybe we're getting back from vacation here. Maybe I have a dentist appointment that I need to remember. So we can put that there. I have a bill due. Let's make a bill due on Friday. 
we've got a focus to pay attention to. I've got some tasks here. All right, you saw how fast that was. I literally just created this page and it all came for free. I, I did not do a single thing that you can't do on your very first day. I went a little bit fast just because I know how to do it. But basically, once I had these things on my page, I just hold down, edit, I can drag it around, I can resize it however I want. You know, that's why it's so easy because if I lay something down and I don't like it, I can resize it. But that's a full layout. So what we're gonna do now is you just go in and you customize it. So um, you can either handwrite on it or you can text box. Now I can see right now that this is too big, but that's okay, we'll shrink it down here in a minute. So those are the things that I wanna be able to do. Now if I have all of the things turned on, if I had them all turned on and I lasso, the whole thing moves. You see what I mean? Like the whole thing is going to move. So if I only want to move the text box, then I have to go in and turn off all the other parts. And now when I lasso it, only the text is moving. I can select my pencil and I can go over here and, you know, I can just make my list of all the places I need to, to go. And that way, the day that I go shopping, I have this with me in my purse. I can just open it up and see all of it um, in the focus three. So maybe those are the three things that I'm going to do. So that is just a weekly spread. Now, what I do is once I set my weekly, that's it. I set that on Sunday or Saturday, and then I have it for the week and I use it every day. But then I'll go into Monday and I'll do a more detailed list of what I want to accomplish but I journaled. I did uh, my focus. What did I want to get done? And you can, I love this because I don't remember details very much. Things get away from me, but, but by being able to go back and like go through this, it's like a scrapbook and a journal and a planner all in one. And I think that this is the way to do it.